Being dead tired, Magnus basically drags me to the library. We have scribes working on translating text. He calls for a set of records and points at a section. Right here. The Federation House the Beacon in the... Tell me, does that say fishy? I think it's fishy to me. <laughs> fishy. In the fishy subsector on the nexus of the old trade routes. We are hoping you could get a more detailed read on where. Being the foremost scholar on an old angle, I down more herbal drink. Gag a bit. The stuff is awful. Give it here. I carefully study the section looking for context clues. I notice the stated need for Helium-3 for fusion to properly power the colony that housed the Psy Beacon. I think that means they needed a close-by gas giant if I remember my classes right. Based on this passage here, the colony needed a massive local supplies of Helium-3, meaning we should screen for systems with gas giants. They could have imported it, but it's worth a shot. We poured over old records for more hints, and narrowed the search from 89 star systems to 6. I think we did damn good. Eventually I gave up on returning to my suite and slept at my desk. I was awoken by one of my butlers several hours later. The scribes and Magnus are still working on the text and tombs non-stop. I have been asked to join Emps for breakfast, then I have the rest of the day off. As we walked to the Emperor's personal dining hall, I was informed of which nobles we would be eating with. We stopped by a restroom so I could freshen up a bit. Emps and I small talked to the nobles and enjoyed the food. Emps is damn good at charming people. A few of those nobles heated my guts, but he disarmed them around me, like he had done it millions of times. Which he might have, now that I think on it. After the nobles had left to attend their duties, Emps and I chatted for a bit. Then I went back to my suite to sleep for a few more hours. We spent a while above Hermit. Emps, Magnus and Fulgrim went on a hunting trip with a bunch of local nobles. I offered to deal with the actual functionaries and got us ready to wait for Conrad. Raza and his officers tried to kidnap me again, but my training kicked in and Legos bailed me out. Thanks, panic button. Though Raza did manage to talk me into a calmer establishment than a club. The district was higher mid-level of this hive. Basically a rich, but not noble neighbourhood. We went in more casual wear as my armour would attract too much attention. Raza and his officers wore civvies as well. We ate in peace in a private room, then joined the main floor to mingle. Well, they mingled. I sat at a table to the side and read from a data slate. Eventually, someone tried chatting with me. I gave them a false name. Said I worked as an errand boy for the Emperor's staff, just enjoying a day off. I talked with a few groups that wandered by or when I went to order more drinks or snacks. Things were nice and relaxed until the staff had a shift change. Then the new bartender called me by my real name. She shouted it at me in shock. Of course everyone heard. Raza and his officers had to form up and keep things civil. I started drawing a big crowd. After I finished my drink, we bailed. Damn, I just wanted a chill day. Not get mobbed by people. We headed back to the ship. As we were heading to the shuttle landing at the port, we spotted some trouble. I have done nothing wrong. Violating the Imperial Truth counts, dumbass. We came across a family being arrested. The father had been caught smuggling in some form of Imperial cult booklets, intending to pass them. The whole family was being detained for this crime. The local house forces had roughed him up a bit. Poor guy. I would report that later. I was about to walk away when the family was pushed against a wall and the guards pulled their pistols. Now hold the fuck up. I shout in anger. You will stop this now. The group officers looked at me in contempt. We are enforcing the law, citizen. Mind your business and move along or there will be trouble. I glared him down. The law requires re-education for those belonging to emperor worshipping cults. Drop your weapons now. The guards sneer at me, until my solars and civvies all draw pistols. You will pay for this. We answer the house dirt. You boys have fucked up, Raza talks over them. Lord Anon, what should we do to this lot? Upon hearing my name, several of the guards drop their guns and raise their hands above their heads. The officers look at me in horror. Have the local PDF detain these guards. Place the family under my custody. This will be reported and investigated. Placing the cultists in mandatory re-education classes was one thing. Killing them was not allowed out of hand. If this was the world's or even hive standards, heads would roll. I had to take the family with me or they would be killed to hush this up. The hive's nobles condemned the guards. They were arrested and faced charges. The PG was using this scandal to force reforms. It was a political shit show. They couldn't have the family go back so I took them to my staff. They would be attending those classes as well. The father, whose name is Zach, is convinced I'm a saint. Literally. 
His wife seems pissed her husband's hobby almost got them killed. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just really into this Imperial Creek, okay? <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> they have nine kids, seven boys and two daughters. Most were just kids or young teens. They would need shooters. Two of the eldest sons were young adults, and they would be errand boys for now. The eldest daughter was a nurse. She would be heading to the med bay. Ems was annoyed with the scandal. He held a press release stating how things should be properly done, firmly stating he wasn't a god. Somehow, I don't think his cult buys it. Still worth a shot, I guess. Ems really doesn't like people worshipping him. Zack got a personal lecture straight from Ems. It didn't take. Guy thinks Ems is just humble. I don't, I, I kind of feel bad for these people. Yeah. The reason, like, the reason why he doesn't want to be worshipped is because it can spread to chaos. Yeah. Uh, so what do you do with it? Like, you know, okay, the Emperor probably is a god to a certain extent. Is in quotations. Is in quotations, you know. So what do you do with that? Like, how do you... How well, do you what, the, what, I'm not the messiah. He's a very <laughs> not, like, you know, he's a very but naughty boy. The, the way they're doing it, it like, take them in, do, give them classes, yeah. reform classes. That's the way it should be done, not hold them up and the, try the, and fucking kill them. The problem is if they try and kill them, they'll just be pushed on the ground. And yeah. then it'll just make the matter so much worse, yeah. I think. I tried to talk Emps into maybe changing his style to help downplay how holy he looks. I've been using those symbols and style long before any of the cults. I will not be forced to change or give up what is mine. I tried to explain how it comes off the normie humans. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're upsetting the normies, okay? You can't say these words. You know, the whole, he's a giant in golden armour, flaming sword and literal halo of light. He just scoffed, saying that it is purely his preferred style. I could understand where he was coming from. That may have just been his charm, though. But I also understood what your average menial saw. Emps was larger than life. Whatever, not my job to handle that. How do you talk the Emperor out of this? You can't. I know. The Emperor is very hard, hard-headed, to I say know. the least. It's in like 2008 trying to talk an emo out of wearing black. You can't <laughs> <do it. laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. We are expecting Comrade any day now. We've been allowed to stop my training to be well rested for when I leave with him. My equipment has been triple checked and Emps is assigning me some Sisters of Silence for my mission. Emps told me just what Conrad had found out from the Cabal. The Lear are active far earlier than expected. In canon, they started spreading and taking over worlds for themselves. Now, here they were, recruiting other Xenos instead, and far ahead of our predicted timeline. I was to advise the 8th Legion while they struck key Lear and allied Xenos targets. This would buy time for Angron and Solomon's legions to muster and join us. Legos was being granted command of 100 of his brother Custodes to act as a special deep strike unit. Bravo 6 going dark. <laughs> <laughs> Ems had to prep for the other coming Xenos threats and would be needed elsewhere. Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. <laughs> so either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. <laughs> And, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so... Once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. We held a feast in the capital hive of Hermit to welcome Conrad. Guy was dressed pretty fuck sharp. Pretty fuck sharp? <laughs> yeah. Pretty fucking sharp? As were his marines. I didn't get to speak to Conrad right away, as he and the Emperor left the feast pretty early. Magnus, Fulgrim and I handled the greetings. Lots of apologising the Emps left. Sorry, he is bonding with his son. He needs to do it, trust me. He <laughs> fucking needs it. Conrad needs his head looked at. <laughs> I did meet some of the 8th Legion's officers. I personally thanked them for knocking out the Men of Iron STC. They seemed awkward as I thanked them. I wasn't sure how to take that. I tried changing the subject to our coming campaign. That really seemed to help with their awkwardness. I couldn't tell them everything, but I told them some basics and promised more info on the Lear later. This led to us trading stories about our time in service to the Imperium. Our group talked and talked until a menial asked us to leave so they could clean the hall properly. We actually talked most of the party. The Astarte seemed to have opened up around me, and we continued talking on our way back. We parted ways at the shuttle bay. I offered an open invite to my suite whenever. Despite their reputation, 
They seem like okay folks. At least when you're not fighting them, I guess. The Eighth was mostly avoided by other Imperial forces. You know, being a terror force will do that. But I personally don't care if Xenos dies screaming or if a human leader is punished for wasting the Imperium's time. I wasn't sure when I would be called by Emps and Conrad, so I cleaned up a bit and chilled. I would be ready to go as soon as he needed. I watched some local hermit media. Lots of talk show using Zack Scandal to paint me as a pro-Emperor worshipper, or as a watchdog for abuse of power. Also, one crazy host saying he had informants in the army, saying I had a Xenos lover. That one kinda pissed me off, but he was really entertaining. Even if he painted me a dark mastermind using the Imperium to expand my own power. Time kept ticking, so I watched some hermit movies as well. It was kinda like watching Turkish rip-off movies. In one local pro-Imperium film, they had a Fabio-looking actor play the Emperor. Me and my dad. <laughs> I can imagine it, like, you know, like Bollywood, Bollywood stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. While watching a weird artsy film I didn't understand, I got the call. My guards and I made fast progress getting to the meeting room. Emps and Son were discussing something as I walked in. I nodded to Emps and greeted Conrad. He got straight to business. Passed me some files, identified some Slaneshi symbols and minor demons the Legion had encountered. I told them about what to expect from the lair. Lots of gene edits, sorcery and sensory assaults. I suggested wiping out their core worlds as they were likely tainted by chaos and only cause issue further down the line. The frontier colonies would be salvageable but we should be careful. Conrad started talking tactics and strategy with Big E. I mostly just kept quiet till I had something to add. Legos did speak up to ask for some change up of his forces. Emps approved his request. Conrad wanted to leave as soon as possible. The Sunny Dogs prepped and my staff oversaw my moving into Conrad's flagship. The Custodes company was quartered in my assigned section of the ship. I had to smooth some tension from the ship's mortal crew, but it wasn't an issue. My staff was used to that by now. I met up with the 8th mortal army officer attachments, introduced myself so to speak. I wasn't really here for a leadership role for this operation, just an advisor. This was Conrad's show. I was tasked with presenting the Legion's captains with the knowledge of chaos, what to expect from Slaneshi demons and Lear gene sorcery, and how to handle any chaos weapons. Namely, don't touch the dildo swords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably the best explanation. <laughs> like, if you don't know what it is, just don't fucking touch it, guys, okay? <laughs> just don't. We made a stop to speak with Conrad's informant, a race of snail Xenos, a small empire that controlled a cluster of about a dozen or so stars. They were non-expansionist, and they kept to the treaty with the old federation, even during the Age of Strife, and most importantly, their planets were not candidates for human settlements, without massive terraforming. For their service in turning on the Cabal, they would be made a protectorate species and be left alone. They would pay a small mineral tithe, but a crazy small one. I wasn't happy about this, but it wasn't my call. They sent us the info promised. We parted ways. We had snake chaos cultists to fight. Our first fight with the Lear and their allies was in the Void. They had some of the dog heads with them, and some squid race I didn't even know about. The Xenos fleet only had a handful of Lear ships, so they were wiped out pretty quickly. We blew up some minor mining outposts and captured a Lear void station. The tech boys learned a lot of the Lear's navy and major colonies. I was tasked with looking through the after action reports and capture anything for any useful info. Turns out the Lear are planning to raid a lizard Xenos feral world to gather slaves for sacrifices. I pass the intel on to Conrad. We caught the Lear slaver fleet with their pants down. Their fleet was reduced to orbital scrap and the planet side forces bombed from the skies. We mostly left the lizard folk alone, for now. The Imperium would be claiming this world in time, but right now the lizards got a pass. The Night Lords finished off the remnant swiftly. They left the Lear distress beacon alone and our ships hid in a local belt to ambush an expected reinforcement fleet. They came with more numbers than expected, but we hit them hard. We jumped into the warp and headed to a remote system to lick our wounds. The tech boys worked their asses off, so we moved on in only two weeks. We ravaged a major Lear world. They had temple complexes that were hive sized. Those had to be taken by planet side forces. The night lords took out most of the temple cities by rapidly breaking the temple's defenses and blowing their power supplies. The Lear powered their cities doom style by tapping into the warp for power. I helped with identifying such power stations. The walls of screaming faces really helped point them out. 
Afterwards, we glass the planet. Sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, definitely the best choice. At a captured void station, I was tasked to investigate a shrine. The mortal army force that find it went insane and reinforcement find them fornicating with the snake fucks and eating the flesh of their fellow humans. Jesus, they were burned alive. I was going in with Lego's company of custodies and a squad of night lords. We find a pillar made of arms, still writhing in glowing purple. The hands of the arms would morph into faces and speak nonsense. The pillar tried to sway me with visions of myself ruling the galaxy. Me as the new master of mankind. The galaxy, mine to toy with. It honestly sounded exhausting. Yeah. Awful. Honestly, and a ton I, of work. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I, no, that doesn't no. sound like an ideal job for me. No thanks to Lanesh. Not interested in selling my soul. We set the blight ablaze and smothered it in weapons fire. The station was dragged and pushed into the local star to be sure. We spent months pulling hit and run tactics on Lear Navy. They reinforced their world beyond our current ability to take. Their ships were being picked off, and Conrad pulled some daring raids to kill major Lear leaders personally. Normally the Legion's foes would be brutalised, but I had informed them that the snake fucks would only get a boost from that. Damn sickos would also likely get turned on by it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Lear did something that was preventing us from getting word from the Warhounds and Templars, though we eventually ran into Warhound forces ravaging a Lear core world. They were trying to actually take the world until we informed Angron's boys on just what they were fighting. We linked up, finished off the planet and headed back to Angron's base in the sector. It would be good to see him again. En route to Angron's staging point, our fleets ran into a massive Lear and allied fleet. It was a shit show. Warhounds and night lords boarded hundreds of Xenos ships and blew them to pieces. Our ships were vastly better than most of the Xenos rabble. Only the Lear ships could match us. And the Eighth's earlier actions had heavily hurt the Lear's navy. This barren star system was now littered with shattered ships, both human and Xenos. We spent a few days afterwards rescuing escape pods from our downed ships and hunting the Xenos survivors. We arrived to find the Templar's fleet assisting Angron's forces to fight another massive Xenos fleet. Turns out the force we fought was meant as a second wave. This was an attempt to push Imperial forces from the sector, to buy the Lear time to build more ships. Now with the Lear navy crippled, it was time for the legions to start putting their worlds to a torch. I was dropped off planetside to pore over captured records, so I didn't get to reconnect with Angron or Solomon. Pity, but duty calls. Solomon shattered the Lear spell that was preventing us from properly communicating. I was able to find some intel on key Lear targets that was forwarded to the Primarch trio. I spent the rest of the campaign on this desert world, searching the records for any useful knowledge to use against the Lear. Angron was the one to deal with the Lear blade that was meant to turn Fulgrim. He used a massive thermite charge to melt it down and then glass the world. Solomon managed to stop a ritual to drag a moon into the warp to doom a sizable portion of our forces. That would have majorly set us back. Conrad personally killed several Lear warlords, which led to their remnants starting to infight. The snake fucks were broken. Now they just needed to be finished off. I don't know what Legos was up to. He and his force just showed back up one day, missing a third of their numbers. Oh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Could have been tainted. Where were they? Yeah, hopefully we'll find out more. No Legos! Angron escorted us back to the Emperor's fleet. We traded stories along the way and caught up. It was rather short, but fun. Once back with Emps, I subjected myself to intensive mental scans. I had been dealing with tons of Lear records and didn't hurt to be careful. I talked with Emps about my vision from the pillar. He found my reaction quite funny. That's because nobody wants his fucking job. <laughs> oh, so you see anyone says, oh, I love the Emperor's No, you universe. fucking wouldn't. No, Absolutely fucking not. Lying. No, thank you. No. <laughs> Angron was redeployed against an orc empire, and we went to link up with Horus. We had several army units corrupted by chaos influence. I was tasked with overseeing the task force to deal with it. We burned journals, edited records of the corrupted to having been killed in action, and contained the taint. Only a few dozen cases. Not bad for what we faced. We did try and limit mortal forces to team. Still, pays to be aware. I had some units under low-key watch and other under full lockdown. Legos and his former unit have been sent back to Terra. I was assigned two custodies to guard me while Legos is unavailable. Emps told me they are to undergo a purity ritual regimen. They fought something, took heavy casualties, and were taking no chances. It's weird not having Legos around. 
Swear to God, don't you be fucking with Gaggles. Don't be, fuck- don't don't be fucking with Lego. Gaggles is not going to be turning to fucking be corrupted by chaos. No step on Lego. <laughs> no step on Lego. <laughs> Magnus and Fulgrim have rejoined the crusade proper. Fulgrim formally gained his legion while I was gone. Emps and I have been bouncing between worlds. On one world, he showed me a ruin with a mural he made before the Age of Strife. We helped one world repel some orcs. While I was leading a scarring of some grey lookalikes, I was approached by an Eldar for seer, told me a few craft worlds had a council and agreed to ask me some questions. Asked me to explain Exodite world spirits. I was taken back. Why would they ask about that? I told him how it was like the infinity circuits, just that planets with life could form a temple in the warp. The Eldar left in peace, and I reported this to the Emperor. We passed a ton of Stone Age feral worlds. We dropped off people to help uplift those worlds. Razit got injured by a poison bone spear. Fucker got lucky. Razit's will be fine. Just bed restricted for a few weeks. One planet we passed had a fallout vibe. Had several factions fighting over ruins and a nuclear wasteland infested with mutants. Had human nobles ruling over beast folk majority. Many beast folk committed mass suicide when we arrived. Seems they had a cult that believed they would be reborn as proper humans once the stars danced or something. It was honestly kind of sad. That is kind of sad, to be honest with you. Poor beast, man. Aww. Aww. Each world passed quickly to me. I was buried in work, teaching scholars English, teaching passing sturdy captains about the great enemy and what to look out for, and the report systems that Emps, Mal and I set up. We met up with Ferris and caught him up as well. I also started receiving reports about the captains asking me advice on the great enemy. It finally hit me that I was slowly becoming the guy in charge of anti-chaos operation. I already was for a while, but I didn't really see myself as that. I'm so tired. The Emperor sent me on a small detour to assist some ultramarines purging a cult. The PG willingly joined the Imperium in exchange for fighting his openly chaos rivals. The Imperial forces crushed the warlords quickly, but the cults went underground. I helped identify chaos symbols that were hidden in plain sight. I wrote rules on how to deal with possible cultists. I trained shock troops how to properly deal with cultist relics. I oversaw the mass burning of bodies. When the cultists grew desperate, I led the marines to deal with the demon they summoned. Ultramarine chaplains asked me how to explain what the marines fought. To me, these foes were expected. But to even the Astartes who faced the worst Xenos possible just were not prepared for actual demons. I tried to explain their nature but I could see the worry in their eyes. Things calm down a bit as we travel. We still fight here and there, but most foes are pathetic. I have been trying to relax more, so I don't snap. Ems is going to have a stop at a paradise world to de-stress a bit. It's a Christmas party. (laughs) Staff work, (laughs) dude. I have some of my staff watching Razitz and his officers, so they don't try to actually drag me to a brothel like he's been threatening. Oh no. no! I've been dragged to the whorehouse again! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I tried to stop the sunny dogs from their plan, but my staff turned me over. I tried to fight, but they literally dragged me to a shuttle. We even passed the Emperor. He just told them to bring me back in one piece. <laughs> Traitors! All of you! <laughs> they thankfully just took me to a feast. I guess there were lots of scantily clad women serving the food, but... Whatever. Space hooters. <laughs> yes. We saw a few shows. Saw some sights. It was refreshing. Emps joined us for the games. Just a show of beast tamers showing off. So boys, this is the end of four now. We're not going to be able to do any more parts until the author writes, writes more, more. But we always stay on top of it. People always send us in. So yeah, people don't always worry. link us and stuff. So we will know whenever he does the next part. Yeah. You know, we're not going to just leave it. But don't high. worry. But up until now, this is it. We'll put it into a playlist for you so you can watch there is it a, all yeah, in one sorry, go. Yeah, there's a playlist. For the yeah. You can get one watch it. Um, so you can binge watch it and like get the story all in one go so you can keep up with it yeah. and we'll let you know whenever it's out again don't worry it won't be too long normally last time whenever we finished it he was back within a week yeah so like you know it was like mm, he, he so hurt, it, he, it probably he like won't be too long give it like maybe back. a week two weeks three weeks who knows yeah. 
So hopefully it won't be too long. But I think his stuff's very good. I'm just worried about Legos, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. But I'm really interested with how Anon's getting along. When you look at him from even just a few episodes back to what he is now, where he's actually able to take command, he's able to do stuff. He's not People listening, like, people respect him now. Yeah, he's not just like, uh, 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 like you're the gimpy nerd, nerdy gimpazoid yeah. sort of fella. He actually is way more confident now, and it is interesting to see his progression yeah you know and also i'm really enjoying it i really love the story yeah it's not bad and considering for you you're not into 40k no like you know you're no, I'm 40K really not, not into 40k but i really like this story yeah so that's nice you know but like i hope you guys enjoyed this one hopefully it's not too long until the author writes some more hopefully he's back mm. we'll just see how it goes check out all the links check out our website hit subscribe and while you're up there hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever we post because we don't know when the next part's going to exactly. be, so you're going to need them notifications. Exactly. Just, just saying, just saying. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.